This guide will walk you through the dynamic draft value settings. First read this page which explains the features of each one of the settings. When you are finished, click Next. The dynamic draft value also includes a penalty for players with overlapping bye weeks. If you have two players at the same position on the bench for one week, it can lead to a loss. All three of these columns are cumulative. When you have finished entering your selected points, click Update, then Next. The dynamic draft value settings also include a penalty for backup players. When you have already filled a position, the draft analyzer will show you only the best players at positions that you have yet to fill. These penalties will help you assess what positions you need to fill. For example, if you already are set at the running back position, 30 points will be docked from all running backs so that other positions can be better filled. If you do not like this feature, you may select Do Not Use. When you are finished selecting, click Update, then Next. The dynamic draft value settings already include baseline settings based on the best player at a position and the worst player at a position and the difference between the two. However, if you would like to enter your own custom baseline settings, enter those here. You can do so for tight ends, kickers, defensive teams, defensive players, wide receivers, running backs, and quarterbacks. When you are finished entering these, click Update, then Next. The dynamic draft value already includes the dynamic baseline values. These are built into the software. To read about these, read the following, then click Next. When you are done, click Finish.